Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to show you how you can create a responsive layout to go from a two-column layout to a one-column layout. I've got this web page set up, and like a lot of web pages, we've got a two-column layout with a header and footer, and it's responsive even at a large-scale format, and it expands and contracts. Notice the sidebar is fixed. But when we go to a smaller device, whether it be at a smaller tablet or a smartphone, I want to change this two-column layout to a one-column layout. So the navigation of the sidebar that contains the vertical nav, which is formerly on the left, is now across the top. So let's take care of this. Now, of course, I've already got the page set up, but I want to delete a big chunk of it so we can start this from scratch. So I'm actually going to just delete all of this right in here. And that kind of leaves us with nothing that's really custom. I am going to go ahead and leave all these styles in. Uh, just a quick little overview. Of course, I got my very frequently used uh, reset rule. And I do have some controls on the outer wrapper. Of course, every page you make from this day forward, of course, is going to have that parent wrapper, parent container. So I've got mine set to 95%, margin zero picks auto, which centers it. I did put a max width to 1440 on it because I don't want it to stretch too wide for people that have really wide display desktops. And a few other basic aesthetic characteristics just to make it easier to see. Uh, font issues, headline issues, nothing too fancy. Now I've got a couple CSS rules here that are manipulating the look and layout of my navigation menu. And I don't want to really go over those in this video there's you know we'll do another video on navigation menus there but there's nothing tricky okay I'm basically taking an unordered list and making the anchors block so that they appear to be um, little rectangle buttons so to speak so now I want to start with my styling for my large format all the styles up here are the generic kind of things and they're going to be consistent amongst uh, smartphones and wide screens so now I want to put some styling that's going to be unique to my um, larger format. And I don't even need anything custom like an app media rule. I can just get right into it with, well, I'm, I've got my sidebar. And my sidebar is going to have a width of 200 pixels. And I'm going to float it to the left because I want it to be on the left side. I'm going to put a little min height in here of about 500 pixels just to make it easier for us to see. And of course, I'm going to do a background color once again just so it's really easy for us to see. And there is my sidebar. And of course, after my sidebar, I've got to have my main content. And my main content doesn't need a width. It's naturally going to be as wide as it can. But I will go ahead and set the min height, 500 pixels, and I'll give it a background color. There we go. And that will be enough for you to be able to see some stuff. So I can have a run, run, launch this in Firefox, and there is my layout. Of course, it's got the navigation menu already styled. But those two basic rules that I created set up the side-by-side -side two columns, two column layout. There's my sidebar and there's my main content. The header controls, by the way, were up here in the main styling. I'm not going to do anything fancy with them. I've just got a min height and a background color. Nothing complicated at all. So that's my two column layout. Now I want to set up the styling. This is the tricky part, of course. This is the styling for our smartphones and small tablets. We do need to tell the um, the browser that this is going to be app media screen and max width. And I'm going to do uh, what am I going to do here? I'll do 799 pixels. So basically, what this means, and then we do an opening curly braces, closing curly braces. So my web page is going to look like this for 800 pixels all the way up to 1440, which is the max width that I've set. But when the device goes smaller than 800 pixels, who knows, that could be around there, that's when I want it to switch from the two column layout to the one column layout. So anything smaller than 800 are gonna get these characteristics. And I just need to manipulate those key elements. So I've got my sidebar. And my sidebar is now gonna be with 100%. I have to negate the former 200 pixel wide width of my sidebar. So it's going to have a width of 100% and it's going to be a float none. Before it was floating to the left, now I want to say no float. I'm going to put a little min height on there of 100 pixels. Min, but it's not going to stay that small. I want it to be able to expand when necessary. Give it a little background color and I'll go ahead and do some uh, 9c9 and I'm going to put in overflow 
hidden. Now the reason I'm putting overflow hidden on this new sidebar, which really shouldn't be called a sidebar anymore, anymore, is because I'm going to be floating my list item, my anchor elements, my menu items, and the overflow hidden will help my will help this um, container expand and contract to accommodate those floating elements. Now I'm also going to go to my main content and I'm going to set its min height 500 pixels give it a little background color so we can nice see it takes care of that and last but not least my list items these are the list items for my navigation menu I'm going to set their width to 50 percent so that they're going to be half the wide of the screen there and I'm going to float them to the left so this way they can expand and contract a little bit and for the anchor tags a lot of the control is already set set but I'm going to do 90 percent which means 90 percent of the 50 percent list items my anchors are inside of the list items I'm going to do a little margin zero picks auto this will center my anchor tags within the list items save this and let's check it out go ahead and refresh the browser and you'll see as I scale it down a little bit smaller we get to that 800 pixels and then it pops over sidebar is now a top bar you notice my anchor tags are expanding and contracting within those size, sized list items alright so that is our responsive page two column layout to a one column layout and check the video description you can find a link to this uh, demo file